Good morning, 130.i1 uh, students. You are the online only version of uh, the quantitative reasoning course. I just wanted to record a quick little welcome video again. Uh, I'm Eric Brown, and uh, this is me at my standing desk. That's what my head's looking down. And I just wanted to talk through a little bit of uh, the stuff here in JetNet. So as you can see, uh, once you log in, here's your course. I've got uh, the digital copy of all the worksheets that you should have received from the bookstore, a digital version of the syllabus, uh, which you do not have a paper copy of, and then your Alex registration code. I've seen like about 17 of you have already gotten into Alex, so awesome. Alex is a place that you're going to be doing homework as well as in JetNet. Um, and then this is a, a on-demand tutoring place that I hope you all make use of. I may actually make a requirement, like a homework assignment for you to do that. So there are two main um, sets of assignments that you're going to be working through in this course. One of them is the things in Alex. And the other one are these lesson checks. So what these lesson checks are, are they are questions taken directly from your course pack. Uh, and it just says, answer the question on page something. Um, just put in the answer. So I'll show you the example of this one just so you can know what to expect. So enter the answer to question eight on page 10, what would be the original selling price? This is my way to determine that you have been working through the course pack, uh, looking at watching the videos on um, YouTube from my YouTube channel, which I'll show you in just a second. And it's also a way for me to record attendance showing that you are moving through the course. So what I am going to be doing, or what I have done here, is I've, I've got the course laid out by weeks, week one, week two, et cetera, and then I've got uh, the Mondays and Wednesdays. This is just because I copied this course. I have four sections of this I'm teaching, and I just left the Monday and Wednesday dates in here. It's kind of a way to help you pace yourselves. What I'm going to be doing for due dates of all of these lesson checks is make them due on Sundays of the next week. So you have one 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 two and one three due on January seventeenth by midnight. I would encourage you to do them as you complete the sections. So don't wait till that Sunday if you can, but but you don't have to. It's up to you. Um, and then the other major thing that you're going to do in here is you're going to turn in um, a review worksheet, and I'll show you what that one is a little later. And this major project, which represents your uh, exam for unit one. And those are coming uh, like in about a month for the first first unit. So let's jump over to Alex real quick. When you log into Alex, it will look something like this after you've set up your account, uh, follow the instructions on that worksheet. And the very first thing is you're going to have to go through a tutorial on how to use the thing. I encourage you to do that. It looks like I have to do that here. There's got to be a way to skip it. So yeah, here we go. So you'll go through that tutorial to help you uh, give answers. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna have to do is a knowledge check. So this knowledge check is what uh, my colleague Sarah May and I have determined is kind of the prerequisite knowledge you should have to, um, to complete this course or to do well in this course. Um, Note, it's not crazy stuff necessarily, like it's some addition stuff and um, some, come on now, just some, some basic things that we want to make sure you know how to do. Um, the goal here, well, so I'm going to skip this and I'm going to say that I had advanced knowledge of this liberal arts stuff. You will take this and there's a total of 97 topics that you need to have mastered. So please take your time through it and uh, do your best. If you start with the whole pie mastered, awesome. You get 100% for that assignment. If you don't, you'll be assigned the topics that you don't know and you'll work through those um, until you get 100% in this pie. So this pie is kind of its own separate little thing to help you um, be prepared for the course. If you have a really low score on it, don't worry. Um, as you work through this pie, it has tutorials on how to work, uh, how to teaching you those problems. And of course, I'm here to help you on that. So this is one thing you're going to do. Once you have that done, you then have um, other just regular homework assignments in Alex. So for example, the, um, the lesson one, one homework assignment here 
is uh, open on the 15th, uh, apparently, and then it's due by the 21st. I'll change that so they're all open now. Um, these you should start or complete after you work through the course pack. Okay, so that's the main things. Please pepper me with questions. Um, I sent you all a welcome email that looks that's basically the same as this for the announcements. And it has a link to a survey that I want you to take to help me determine what's the best time to have dedicated office hours. So you're going to select this as your meeting time. I asked a few basic information and then select any of these times that work for you. What I'm going to do is have a, a link in uh, JetNet right at the top that says office hours. And you just go there without any uh, need to email me or ask for help or ask to set up a session. I also have my YouTube channel. Here it is. Um, I've got another welcome video there. Feel free to ignore that. I actually have my one from back in March when the pandemic hit and we went home. I show my Lego room, which looks a whole lot different. And then I've got um, videos working through each of the sections. Now notice currently I have one one ready to go. I'm going to be recording uh, one two and one three today. So this week's videos will be ready to go. And then I'll get the rest. Today's of the lesson is brought to you by, uh, I believe this is one of the monster fighter. Look at this. I'm giving away the excitement of, of Legos. Um, I hope this, uh, this course goes well for you and that you all uh, are really good at managing your time and that you will keep on track. I, I'm very fearful of, uh, of non-meeting times just because if you're a student like me, um, when you're not required to meet, you may not work to get as much work done. Um, and while I think mathematics is exciting and fun, I suspect that you may not feel that way. So um, please reach out to me for help, and uh, I look forward to working with you this semester.